Ah, Tommy. I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard is called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my card. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. I gotta shake off those cops. At last. I could eat a horse. Hey, Danzarieri, welcome! Pepe, you don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Pepe. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Don. Praise it from a gourmet like you always are making me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Adana? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> What the hell is going on? This is ruining my lunch. Marilla must have nothing better to do. They could have at least let me taste the wine, Gabo. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Throw him his present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out. Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? My ears are ringing from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them, while I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. Anyway. 
I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. You weren't so bad yourself, boss. Christ, that was crazy. Thank God Pepe hit. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. We should. Boss, I'd like to know how they knew where we were. You think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. Who? Carlo, my bodyguard. That goddamn son of a bitch, he's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was gonna happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. We're going. Bastard, we're coming for you. Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door. Go ah! there and kill the bastard. No, for the love of God, he's don't run do down it. the fire escape. Tom. Oh. It's all over. I'll kill you, bastard. you bastard. You won't get away. Shut up, lady, or you're next. You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. It's nothing. First time for me, too. There's a first time for everything. Well, who do we have here? How are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair. And he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing. Real bad. 
Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. You cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions in this free country of ours. Carry on, boys. What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? I'm afraid in the current situation Bastard. we can't ask him. Burn it hell. And there is nobody else who could tell us what happened. Our guys are dead, and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could you please shut up? We're trying to talk here! Go to That's hell! There's no way to talk to Mr. Morello! Bum! God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What shall we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before. Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss, it looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. Tommy, that assassination attempt means that Morello has openly declared war on us. We have to deal with him. If Morello didn't have accomplices with the politicians and other important city organizations, our forces would be nearly equal. If we liquidate those people, our opponent will be a lot weaker. That's exactly what we gotta do. Eliminate his strong contacts. Right. And as we all know, an all-out war must be avoided. Get the generals. Then the soldiers will give up without a fight. So this is what we'll do. We'll finish them off one by one. What do you mean exactly? The first in line is the city councilor who's caused us so much trouble. Morello got him into politics and that makes him a big supporter. We'll take care of him after the boy, and I mean today. The councilor is celebrating his birthday and has decided to throw a huge shindig. He's having it on a steamboat with fireworks and the whole nine, and he'll be making a speech to the paparazzi. There'll be a lot of people there who won't do dick against us when they see what happens to him. It sounds pretty risky. But well worth the risk. Vincenzo knows the plan. Okay. As I said, it's on a steamboat. It won't be easy to get in without an invite, but I know you can do it, Tom. Above all, try not to raise suspicions before we reach our goal. Of course, you won't get a weapon past the security, but I've dealt with that already. As soon as you get on deck, go to one of the men's rooms. There'll be a small revolver hidden there. Afterwards, just wait outside a while. The counselor will probably be hiding in his cabin, but he'll be out for the start of the celebration in his speech. That's your big shot. During the speech, you're gonna pop him, Tom. It's got to be in public, and this speech is the best opportunity. There'll be a big crowd there, so you can blend in with it once this thing is all done. And then what? I'd like to get back to shore in one piece. Afterwards, it'll be nuts. There'll be some security guards on a boat, and you should be able to get past them in the chaos. If not, get to the bow, and Paulie will pull up in a boat and bring you back safely. So what, Tommy? It won't be a picnic, but you should pull it off. Okay. I'll do it. The boat is anchored on the waterfront on Central Island. You better get going or you'll miss it. Keep an eye on the time. Bona fortuna, Tom. Well, here we go again, Ralphie. Today I need something for one use, because we don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Th 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 that's no big problem. I have... Here, this little number. They're, they're pretty, pretty popular these days. Also, they're pretty solid. Look how easy they are to nab. Yeah, great, Ralphie. That should do the trick.
yourself. out of that broken john don't bug me i have a lot of work to do hey i kind of need those keys i left something there yeah right maybe i'll lend them to you but you got to promise to clean up that mess in there and bring them right back i'll wait in the stern for you clean up um sure you bet okay there you go but bring them back Hello there, John. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Good evening. Yes, it's lovely here. How are you? I hope you like it. Thanks. We're glad to hey, be here. I'm glad you could make it. It's wonderful. Thank you. 